Hi everybody, just wanted to do a quick video on is Facebook as fake as most things online? This is uh, articles from Forbes that says Justice Department is investigating Google, Apple, Facebook and Amazon for monopolistic activities. I think that... Um, that's a huge announcement, but I think really it's kind of 50-50 to do with the battle between the giants of the online world versus the government and really them not probably playing poodle to Donald Trump. And this is kind of a backlash of Donald Trump saying, well, OK, um, if you want, if you, you know, um, him saying that basically the media, comp the online companies are not playing ball with him when it comes to his politics and his um, views and opinions. Um, and pretty much, you know, if you uh, he's made comments in the media about that. And I think really what's happened is that, you know, He's taking action through the Justice Department by digging into the online giants of the world like Google, Apple, Facebook and Amazon. Um, this was going to play out pretty interesting. And the article reads that the US Department of Justice DOJ announced a huge antitrust investigation into the big four tech companies Google, Facebook and Amazon. The Justice Department will review the juggernauts to determine if they are engaging in monopolistic and competitive anti-competitive activities. The DOJ's antitrust division will, according to its press release, review whether and how market-leading online platforms have achieved market power and engaging in practices that have reduced reduced competition, stifled innovation, or otherwise harm consumers. Now, it's a very interesting article by Forbes. I think that, you know, they, this, they, they're highlighting some very key things here, um, especially when they talk about um, reducing competition. And reducing competition um, worldwide. It says here that the DOJ's antitrust division will, according to its press release, will review whether and how market leading online platforms have achieved market power, have achieved market power, and are engaging are engaging in practices that have that have reduced competition stifled innovation or otherwise harm consumers now with all the love and the power and the fact we need these online giants and let's face it, if we've got 7 billion people on planet Earth, 7 billion people, there is no way 7 billion people can be reduced to a handful of comp online companies, like 5 or 6 or 10 online companies that control pretty much something like 70% of search or higher. Or 70% of e-commerce or higher. Or 70% of mobile advertising or higher. And now they're trying to basically make a move towards digital currency. And that also... And I'm mentioning it only because that also could be a factor when Donald Trump said that he is not against, he, you know, he's against Bitcoin because the only currency is the US dollar. 
and I did a, a video on talking about the US dollar and the importance of the U of, of America and the USA protecting the US dollar because without the US dollar the, the US Treasury and the entire American and the United States of America would, would, would really be in a you know in dire straits this the, the US dollar is already gasping for air and breath because the other countries are now creating their own currency but I you know that's like I said I've done a video on that so with this investigation now into online giants it's it, it's I think it's an unprecedented step I think that also the step that the Department of Justice of the United States of America have taken is 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 pretty much because of the feelings how Trump sees the media and how Trump sees um, the online social world for or against him. I think it had a lot to do with that. And he, you know, if you read his articles, he's already pointed that out. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. It reads here that the government has unlimited resources, unlimited resources to scrutinize the tech companies. So that means that the, the, the US government is pretty much going to also have access to everyone's data worldwide. That's concerning. How will that play out? Because if Facebook has, what, you know, two to five billion people, you know, coming in every month or yearly, that's concerning because all that information will eventually go to, you know, the US government, right? Or potentially. It says this, watch this, it says that this will be a bonanza for lawyers, regulators, compliance, audit, forensics, and related professionals the gauntlet has the gauntlet has been thrown down by trump and the doj it seems clear that they believe these tech giants have a liberal bias in addition to their alleged monopolistic business practices armies of professionals will be required to conduct the investigation and to respond and respond to subpoenas, inquiries, and demands. You see that? Demands for information. Demands for information. It's going to be colossal. Absolutely colossal. And consumers' information and business data is going to be caught up in, in the midst of all of this. But again, this is a huge topic. And it's worthy of a, a lengthy video. It's worthy of discussion. Because Facebook is not the only social media platform online. No way. The, it's, it's because of the special privileges, arrangements, and also the, the, the fake accounts. The fake accounts, the, the lies, you know, um, the deception, all those different things. Like, and, and let me just put it clearly. I am not making this up. This is, here's the facts. It says here that Facebook removes fake accounts from Thailand, Russian, Russia, Ukraine and Honduras. Okay. And look at the date here. It's the 25th of July, 2019. It says that, this is Reuters, it says Bangkok Reuters, Facebook Inc. said on Thursday it had erased over 1,800 accounts and pages from Thailand, Russia, Ukraine and Honduras. Its latest move to counter deceptive political propaganda and abuse of its service. So this to me tells me, look, you know, it's, it, there's some political things going on here. You know, for the, the, especially if you're being investigated by the DOJ, 
they're going to twist your arm and turn you to work for them. Like, well, you know, allegedly, allegedly, okay, allegedly. But it's, you know, like this, this some, like it says here, it. The latest move to counter deceptive political propaganda. So it's almost like so, social media giants are becoming a, a political platform for control or the spin. Similar to how Fox News is on the spin. CNN is on the spin. Right? It, and, and, and news always has a spin to it based on what political party has more power or what political leader of any country has more power and obviously when it comes to uh, these american companies the strong arm of the doj and donald trump is coming down on them it's, it's that simple the article also says across the four countries a total of 294 accounts 1,509 pages and 32 groups were taken down for what the company calls coordinated inauthentic behavior. They had a collective following of what? 274,000. 274,000 people following them, okay? 274,000. I mean, you can read the rest of the article. Uh, put the links down in um at the bottom of this video and here just to round things off right now is that facebook agrees to pay us dollar five billion penalty for privacy violations now this is like a, a never-ending story um a broken record how many times do people you know are people willing to to take this facebook and, and, and forgive this Facebook when this Facebook is really selling your face it's selling your data it's free right they say it's free but then how do you make billions of something that's free that doesn't make logical or common sense so if it's free for me to for you to use it I'm gonna sell you that's what's going on I'm gonna sell your information I'm gonna sell your data I'm gonna sell your your photos i'm going to sell who you're connected to i'm going to sell everybody who lives in that area that postcode i'm going to sell everybody who has the same date of birth as you by country or, or local or national or even global so it's, it's if i sell that information that's how and i will sell access to that information to that demographics, psychographics, okay, you know, user engagement, all these different things, that's how they create and make money, now, someone will say, well, fine, but when it comes to the privacy, when it comes to who owns the content on Facebook, as you can see, Facebook owns the content, if you put your photo on Facebook, they own the content, they own that photo, even though that photo was your photo, they own that photo. You know, it's, and there's lots of other things around it, like from, from the technical, deep technical side of things. If they want to crush you, they have their bots army. They have, they have armies of bots. They have, you know, it's lots of different things, okay, that can go on. So people have to look at it. Are we, are we there to... Are these social giants there to create jobs? Are they there to create jobs? Now, one thing for sure I would say definitely is that there's certain companies that's creating a lot of jobs. Like, I think out of all of them, you know, we definitely, you know, need Google, YouTube, and they create a lot of jobs a lot of opportunities that's definite that's definite that they created a lot of jobs and opportunities i'm not saying facebook doesn't create jobs i'm not saying amazon doesn't create jobs but most people that we even work for amazon are actually affiliates if it wasn't for affiliates amazon wouldn't be making the money that amazon makes so really amazon doesn't really employ a lot of people 
you know, um, Google employs a lot of people. YouTube's beneficial for educating um, people and and giving people opportunities to at least earn something off what they produce with the advertising uh, revenue from their YouTube um, videos. Facebook, what does Facebook give anyone? Nothing. When it could make it, do a lot of things, it could create a lot more jobs, a lot more innovation, rather than try and control each and every person and every, you know, it's now, it's, it's, it's like on Facebook, it's becoming almost like a, a police uh, platform or, or, you know, um, China kind of um, attitude towards control of what you can say and who you can say it about, which is it's absolutely ridiculous, okay? All right? Now, I'm just going to close this video. Um, but before I do that, I just want to say, read this. It says that it is estimated that more than 2.1 billion people now use Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, or Messenger every day on average, and more than 2.7 billion use at least one of these services each month. But even with Instagram, you've, if, if the fact that Facebook owns Instagram and the photos that you put on Instagram don't belong to you or the photos that you put on Facebook don't belong to you, this is creating a monopoly. And it's not to say that there's no other person out in the entire world that could create an Instagram. There's not, you know, definitely... This people can create a Facebook. If you look at, you know, even what I'm doing, infoguruship.com, you know, that could be potentially be a Facebook. You know, there's, 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 there's other platforms out there that can do what Facebook is doing. To me, if you look at Facebook, to be honest with you, Facebook is a classified business directory. That's all it is. Only that it puts people's faces there as well as it does businesses as well. So it's really a classified business directory. Who can dispute that? So I'm, you know, no one's being um, facetious here or anything. We just this is plain facts, business facts. You can't have a handful of companies, whether it's twelve or twenty, controlling seven billion people on planet Earth. That's the point. It needs to be a fair landscape and fair competitive landscape across the board and they, they can help to encourage other people. For instance, even within Infoguru Shop, I welcome everybody. Anybody who's got a business, anybody who does anything, you know, whether you're a professional, whether you dance, sing, you know, rap, you know, comedy, bake cakes, whatever, I invite everybody to come on board and see what classif digital classified advertising can really do for you across mobile, saving you having to, to build an app, saving you to have, have to worry about SEO and, 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 and PPC and, and, and you know, control panels for websites because not everybody on planet Earth understands all these digital things. And this is why we're making it easier for you to do these things. Now, this can create a lot of jobs and a lot of op opportunity. So technology should be used for innovation. It, sh it should be used for empowerment. It should be used for income generation. It should be used f to create jobs. It should be doing that. And instead of it, the information being used to create artificial intelligence and robots and automation, which absolutely eventually will destroy the opportunities and, and household income for humans. Okay, So I'm going to have to leave it at this. But what do you think about social media giants and... And, and what do they say the social media giant companies or they're, they're into um, advertising or digital advertising what do you think about the, the, the main players of the online world 
controlling most of the online world the revenue what do you think about it okay please leave your comments if you're on youtube if you're on twitter or linkedin you know please share like subscribe thank you for listening